Welcome back, SpongeBob fans! It's known that SpongeBob SquarePants is probably one of the biggest masterpieces to ever be created in Nickelodeon's headquarters. But you also know that we are experts in finding some curious animation errors and some cool mistakes in its episodes. So get ready, because here we have some animation errors that you can find in SpongeBob SquarePants. Number 1. Squilliam Returns do you know who Squilliam is? Well, Squidward's main rival made a big appearance on this episode, and of course to make Squidward's life really annoying. First appearing in the episode Band Geeks, Squilliam is represented as a rich and triumphant version of Squidward, but in this episode he came here with one mission and only one, confronting Squidward about his newly discovered five-star restaurant. Let's take a look. We're all ready to be done. Dazzled by your five-star restaurant. Wait, Squilliam, I've got to explain. As a five-star <laughs> restaurant. Funny, right? Squidward doesn't seem to know how to run away from trouble. But what we're here for is to find some funny and special animation errors. So, what we've found here? Soon you'll know. If you looked at this scene slowly enough, you might have discovered that something strange is happening while Squilliam visits Squidward's restaurant. Just take a second look and see if you are able to find something. Well, in case you haven't seen anything, when Squilliam arrives at Squidward's five-star restaurant, it's sunset, but when he's starting to eat his meal, suddenly it's nighttime. This is weird, right? This might surprise you, but this is not the only strange thing that you can find in this scene. Because when Squidward says, would you get out of here, the sky seems to be in the daytime. For sure, day have a different rhythm in Bikini Bottom. Nonetheless, to camouflage this error, the animators decided to reduce the brightness of the exterior so it's more nightly suited. But this is not the only funny thing we found here. Let's take another look at another funny scene. The horrible sad truth is, I'm a cashier too! <laughs> Well, this scene might only be for die-hard fans only, but look at Mr. Krabs' eyes. If you've seen the show for a long time, you'll have noticed that Mr. Krabs' eyes change color for a brief moment during this scene. Usually, they have a very characteristic pale green color, but during this scene, they're completely white. Such a funny detail to find. Number 2, House of Fancy. Seems like our last episode wasn't the only one with Squilliam causing trouble. In contrast with the last episode, Squidward didn't try to pretend that he had a luxurious restaurant in this one because he tried to prepare his house for a TV show. At the start of the episode, Squidward is watching the famous TV show House Fancy, a TV program that encourages inhabitants of Bikini Bottom to show their houses and show everyone who has the fancy ones. But like usually happens to our favorite octopus, Squidward's day is ruined when he hears that the program's first guest is none other than Squilliam Fancyson. Another time that Squidward has to face his worst enemy. After some chaotic events and funny adventures, Squidward ends up with his house destroyed but winning the trophy of House Fancy Prince of the Year. Like people People always say you have to make big sacrifices to reach big goals. But we have found some strange scenes that we wanted to show you to see if you're able to find some errors. Oh. <coughs> Mickey dear. Well, toodaloo, Squidward. Enjoy the program. Squidward looked like he was having a peaceful time this morning enjoying a great cup of tea. And that's exactly what we have to take a look at, the cup of tea. At the beginning of the scene, we see that Squidward sets his teacup down to answer the telephone. Much to his surprise, he's shocked to learn that Squilliam is on house fancy. When the camera zooms out to Squidward, we see that again he has the same cup of tea that he left on 
the table before. For sure, he wasn't the happiest person ever to hear from Squilliam, but this is a really funny scene to discover. But this is not the only error we found on this over-the-top episode, so let's continue watching. This may take a while. Just sit back and relax. What the? A whirlpool bath elevator? We know that Squilliam has a pretty big ego, right? Or at least that's what his elevator tells him. Well, if you took notice of the background, there is a small difference between the three pictures on the back. Two of those have Squilliam having a very big and hairy unibrow, while the other one doesn't have it. Maybe animators confused one squid with another, or maybe they forgot about the unibrow. Number 3, That's No Lady did you know that Patrick disguises himself as a woman to not get kicked out of Bikini Bottom? After a strange morning in Bikini Bottom, one strange guy told Patrick to get out of town after showing him a brilliant and strange briefcase. Fearing that he would be a paid assassin, Patrick thought about one very strange solution, dressing as a woman. This caught the attention of many male inhabitants of Bikini Bottom and Patricia became a star all across our favorite underwater city. But let's look at the animation errors we found here. Oh! I gotta get out of town! To do something horrible to me before I let you throw Patrick out of town! Patrick! You forgot your flyer. Get out of town! Here we have the first interesting detail of this episode. When the businessman first shows his pamphlet about the marvelous resort he works for, the sign reads, Get out of town to beautiful seashores resort. And at the end of the episode, the same pamphlet reads, Get out of town to beautiful sunny shores resort. This might be a change of that text, or maybe it's just an animation error. We will never know. There'll be no such thing as opening too early, me boy. Excuse us, miss. Huh? Mr. Krabs might have lost something more than his eyes in this scene. If you look closely at Mr. Krabs when the camera gets close to him while his eyes explode, he suddenly misses his left arm. He for sure got too in love with Patricia. Number four, drive through. Well, it seems like Mr. Krabs has a way to make money out of everything. In the start of the episode, SpongeBob starts to fill a hole that he finds in the Krusty Krabs wall with toothpaste. This starts to make Mr. Krabs uncomfortable and decides to make a plan out of this when he sees the hole of the wall breaking. And his fabulous idea is to create a drive through using a simple menu written on napkins and a microphone made of tin cans. This might be a great plan, but it comes with its fair share of errors. Let's take a look. Mr. Krabs, what you doing? Oh, hi, SpongeBob. Did you notice something strange in the Krusty Krab? Well, we might be right at the start of the episode, but for those who've watched the show throughout its whole history, you will have noticed that the Krusty Krab is missing its trademark antenna. Such a cool detail, isn't it? These marks don't. Watch it, will ya? I just had this thing repainted! Car accidents are always a big thing to worry about, right? Well, in this scene, when both the blue and green fishes collide with their respective cars, the green fish's arm turns orange for a second. For sure, car accidents change people, or in this case, fish. Number 5, Chum Bucket Supreme. Have you ever pictured Patrick working as an advertising director at the Chum Bucket? At the beginning of the episode, Plankton's beloved computer Karen suggests that he advertise his product. Then, being the evil mastermind he is, Plankton hangs a sign that reads, Chum is metabolic fuel. Even if he has one of the greatest IQs in all Bikini Bottom, this slogan doesn't seem to catch up until Patrick walks nearby and changes the sign to chum is 
thumb. This seems to connect with people and starts to attract them, thus making Plankton hire Patrick as his new advertising director. Such a bizarre episode. If this wasn't bizarre enough, let's look at some funny scenes from the episode. Let's see, Q, no P, no ah. Here it is, L. Seems like something strange was happening to the chum bucket while creating the sign. Have you caught it? Well, when Plankton is looking inside the box of letters to make the sign, the door of the chum bucket has disappeared. For sure, Plankton wanted to renew the chum bucket on this episode, but losing its door might be too much. Chum Bucket Supreme, enjoy! Well, that fish was a pretty strange one, wasn't it? If you paid enough attention, the fish that asks for lunch had a red t-shirt. But after the camera moves and zooms back to him, his t-shirt is blue. The Chum Bucket always seems to attract weird people. So there you have it, SpongeBob fans. There are some animation errors that you can find in SpongeBob SquarePants. Please leave a like and subscribe to our channel so we can provide you with more amazing SpongeBob content. Until the next time, goodbye.